Welcome back to The Morning Show here on Arise News with me, Katira King. As promised, it's time to take a look at super producer Ego Boya's new experimental movie, A Hotel Called Memory. Believe it or not, there are no words in the whole movie. Joining us to discuss exactly how they achieved this feat is one of the principal actors, Lala Akindoju. But before we meet her, let's take a look at the trailer. Okay, so the first thing I noticed about that is yes. that it had no sound. Yes. What yes. is going on? Yes. How do you make a movie with no audio? Ah, um, with a bit of difficulty. <laughs> 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 because, I mean, you know how with, it's very easy for us to speak, even when you're supposed to ad-lib. Mm -hmm. So to then say, react, but do not speak, with everything, is very difficult. I mean, Until you're asked not to do it, then you realise right. just so how difficult it is. And you can yeah. I haven't been asked to do it and I'm already, already confused. You have to give us an example. Okay, for instance, let me see. I'll, I'll ask Lala because, I mean, Akin directed you, so mm -hmm. Akin also shows our uh, director. And from, you know, all the conversations with him, when we first received the script, it was a 13-part, 13 13-page 13 treatment. Right. And all it said was, this is what you're supposed to be doing, this is what you're supposed to do. So then, you then have to ask your actors to think about what their reaction would be. Right. And then do that, portray that. So it's that whole, yeah. this is the situation. Let's see it reflected yes. on your face and mm -hmm. your body. So, yeah. you know. I mean, she said it all. Yeah. And, um, you know, when you're getting trained as an actor, that's, those are some of the things that mm -hmm. you're trained mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. in class. And it's a skill to help when, when you're saying the lines. Mm. But I didn't think I was ever <laughs> going to get to a point where... I mean, this is worse than improv. Yes. You know? <laughs> exactly. Yes. And, you know, and Aki's very, he's very, like, bare. Like, he wants you to just come as you are. Mm. So even on this set, we didn't have elaborate makeup. Yes. I remember right. the night before I shot my scenes, I was like, oh, what does he want done to my hair? Mm. And he said, oh, just whatever Nothing. is on your what hair. Do you do? Yeah, what, do you, what do you want to do with yeah, your he hair? He was like, just whatever, whatever you want yeah. to do. You know, we had, the crew was very small. Mm -hmm. Just the way you go out is how I want you to be. Wow. Yeah. Just, and yeah. then, so he's like, what you're thinking, I want to see it on your face. And I think mm -hmm. that's the highest level of performance. Wow. Yes. Because sometimes as actors, we cheat with our, with our voice of course. and yes. our hands, mm -hmm. and we're not doing, we're not emoting. So you mm -hmm. know when you have to, there's this exercise where you have to feel the emotion from your feet and, you know, bring it mm -hmm. all, all the way up. to your face. Mm -hmm. You know, so we had to do that a lot. And it was, it was different. It was, yeah. it was different. <laughs> so, it's a marvellous for me to hear because it's not a premise that you often hear about, yeah. not even just in Nollywood, but yes. worldwide. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I've ever watched a movie with no words. Yes. <laughs> well, there's a few of them. The there's there's the artist. But even then, there's the one with um, Robert D Redford, where he's right. on the sea, and it's just yes. him on a boat yes. and the, the elements. And, I mean, you know, I'm going to become a filmmaker. <laughs> so all I have to do is record a man on a boat? Yes. <laughs> But the thing is, another thing we tried to do here, as Lala mentioned, was, um, you know, it was very organic. So it was that whole, we didn't have the whole makeup set, um, makeup crew yeah. and everything. It was be as natural. And if you see the shots, it was shot with a Sony camera where, which utilizes very low light. It right. does brilliantly. So you see the shots yeah. are clean, they're crisp shots. It's almost like a bird's eye view, sort of yes. a person watching exactly. it themselves. Yeah. So that was the whole idea. And of course, the crew being very small was also to be able to blend in, right. to go to all those spaces and not be conspicuous. Yeah. You yeah. know, when you come with a film crew and cast, it's the like people loads of people. Acting. People yeah. are like, OK, <laughs> and exactly, they start acting. So in this case, it was like, just go in there, and whatever you find in that environment. So as Lala said, how, how do you do your hair? 
How do you want to do your hair today? Amazing. How do you want to do your makeup today? Just be completely natural. So it was to bring, a, to sort of take us back. As she said, that's how we were trained. Mm -hmm. You're trained to work with as little or as much as possible. Mm -hmm. So it has to be the, the, the acting. It has to be, it has to be real. It has to be from your gut. It has mm -hmm. to be, you have to be that, you have to be the performer. First, yeah. You can't hide behind words or gestures. Wow. It has to be all of you doing everything. And what did you find your crew's response to be when they got the treatment and they realized there was no script? The crew was all of two or three people. Yes. Wow. So it was that, it was that yes. Yeah, very, very basic. Yes. There, were no, there were no lights. There was no the, lights. The, yeah. the entire film is shot with natural light. Yes. Right. The camera, as she said, sees what your eyes see. Exactly. You know, the lens. So yeah. there, there was, in fact, when we shot, there's a scene on the beach and, you know, mm. we just went to the beach and just took on all the sound that was going on. Yes. There. The way the Aladura. Yes, the, doing a prayer. You know, doing a prayer. <laughs> yes. We just worked with them like it was that wow. organic. Just yes. worked with them. Yes. Just blended in. There's a scene at the airport. We were so... It was at the airport. It, it was just at the airport. It's... Just go. Wow. Yeah. Just the, the... So there was the director. There was the, um, the director of photography. photography yeah. Um, those were the only two. That, yes, yes, yes. That, that was the costume here, you yes, like yes, she was there. But basically, and, it was yeah. those two main <laughs> members of, wow. of yes. the crew. They just went out. And I think there's some, there's a beauty in the simpleness of it. Of yes. course. Because I've been on, um, in films where we've had 40 people mm -hmm. in our crew. Mm -hmm. And to just go out with two people is light. You just, you know, load strap your camera, it strap it on, and <laughs> just go. And again, as I said, the, being that inconspicuous, where you're in a space, and nobody is turning, everybody is natural. Yeah. If they're drinking and eating at that table, nobody is sneaking glances oh, at yeah. you. Oh, they're waving doing exactly, in the background. Yes. Hi, <laughs> oh, let me, this is my 15 minutes. Let me just <laughs> poke my head in there. Nothing like that. It was all very natural, very organic. There was another scene on the beach and I remember when people watched the film at the Lights Camera Africa uh, Film Festival, there's a scene on the beach with two horses. I mean, we haven't even started with animal actors. So you know in Nigeria, <laughs> that could not have been anything yeah. but pure chance. Yes. You go on the beach, there are always horses on the beach here, and these horses, and they just recorded them. And just as you're editing, mm -hmm. you sort of see there's a space for that scene wow. in the film. So it was they like, like they were being directed. Yes. Wow. Yes. Did yeah. you pay them? Exactly. <laughs> Luckily not. <laughs> no, we have two of the people involved in the movie yes. narrating their experience. Akino Motoshaw and Nsei Etim. Oh, Should great. we take a little look at their yes. videos? Yes. yes. All righty. You know, audience experience is important. I just like that. And I just thought, wow. And, and I've liked films that are silent, where there's no dialogue. Uh, because you're really down to... It's pure, you know, it's pure visual storytelling, and that's what you know, cinema is on a level. So it's not about did I get the line right, it's that did we convey the moment right. Um, and so that was what it was like. When you come to watch a hotel called Memory, as the title suggests, it is about memory and it is about an experience. So, you know, that's what I hope people take away from it and that I hope they enjoy that. Um, that it, it means something on a deeper level. There's something about silence and solace, and I think that's kind of what we try to go for. But this film is about reflection uh, and memory, and how do you remember things different to how I remember them? Um, and it's all personified in the character that Inset plays. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Reflection and memory. Reflection, yes. mm -hmm. This is amazing. What do, you, what do you anticipate the response is going to be like from Nigerians to a movie with no words? I think it's going to be mixed. You're going to have people that will be patient enough to sit through and sort of see, okay, this is intriguing. I think a lot of people will be intrigued first. How did you make a film mm -hmm. without words? Yeah. How is this going to run? But then I think there are people that are going to be patient, sit down and really want to understand it. And when you start watching it, you realize that because there are no words spoken, you can't even take a bathroom break. <laughs> you have yeah. to be, you, you have, have to, to sit attention. there and pay attention because wow. if you walk away, you can miss something. Of course. And it's so crucial to the story. So I think that there'll be a group of people that would definitely get it, want to be involved in the story, immersed in the story. And then there'll be some people that won't understand it because they just don't want to yeah. be put in the situation where they have to think yeah. about what has she said? What does that mean? Of course. Sometimes you're in a, it also, it depends on where you are in your own head. Yes. Sometimes you just want light. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes Very you true. want, so people will come back. The thing with this film is 
you watch it again. I've watched it so many times. You watch it again and again, yeah. and every time you watch it, you see and find something very different. Of course. You enjoy something. And because you're not being told what exactly. to think as well, so you make it's up your all, own mind. Yes, you make up your own mind. That's and amazing. everything is that, that the audience has the opportunity to delve into that film, to become a part of that film. Wow. You become what is memory, uh -huh. what is reflection, and what do you remember? What does that scene in that film say to you? Yeah. Is that what you remember? Or is that what I remember? I'm, are they I'm, different I'm or confused. the same? I don't know. <laughs> I, know. I don't know who exactly. remembers what. Yes, yes. <laughs> so less a movie and more an experience. It yes. is, exactly. It is an experience. Yeah. Now, I can imagine with a movie so experimental, you mm -hmm. have lots of funny behind-the-scenes stories oh, yeah. to share. Well, you share them. <laughs> <laughs> Give us, from, give us one. Yes. Um, I think it would be, it would still be that, that beach scene because mm. it was, it was, you know, everybody talks about the Aladuras, the mm -hmm. white garment people. And, you know, when we got there, they were in the spirit, you know, mm -hmm. just going on. And then we had the camera and then Aki said, you know, in my scene, he said to run through them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. They're free. They're free. <laughs> what do you mean I should run through it? I was like, yeah, it's like, because the scene you're looking for a child, it's like, if you're looking for a child, you're really you not thinking care. That's true. Exactly. about who's there. So you just want to, like, keep searching through. So he's like, both of you chase each other looking for the child and run through the thing. I'm like, okay. Yes, sir, we're going to run through. And we did run through. Yeah. What was and the response of the Alateras? They continued they praying. Continued. So no they course. were in the spirit, they you were, were looking for your child? Yes. Exactly, and then we just, wow. we just, yes, we yeah. just continued. I, I think, think yeah. yeah, it was, it was really, it was different. It yeah. was a test. And, you know, there were many times I would stop and ask him again, like, are you, yeah, are you serious? sure? <laughs> like, should we? But then the, there were, the, you know, there were text messages sometimes. Yes, yes. And he would say, type this thing, yeah. but I want to see what you are typing on your face. I'm yes. like, hey, wow. Who's that even me? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. But it was great. It, it was, was great. Good. And and you know, Aki he's he's a very particular director. Mm, he, he is doesn't he's, he doesn't care about, you know, acting. Right. He wants you to become and yes. be. right. so whatever it's going to take for you to be, he's going to give you and he's going to keep pushing you. Yeah. So Can even for Unse, I mean I wasn't there but I was told the story in one of the cities where she was walking through the market. Mm. It was, she was Zanzibar. literally shopping in yes. Zanzibar. Yeah. She was yes. literally shopping yeah. and trying on the clothes mm -hmm. and she was being filmed. Yeah. So she was negotiating and haggling and doing everything as she would have as a tourist. Of course, wow. yes, completely natural. Yeah. You know, this movie reminds me of everything I think I've ever read from Stanislavski, oh, where he talks exactly. about the coming yes. as opposed exactly. to acting. Exactly. 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 It's amazing. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so when is this movie coming out? Okay, we have a premiere on the 19th of November, and it's at Wings, which is in VI. Mm -hmm. And so that's our next big... Exciting. Yes. yes. And it's, an, again, an experience. As you said, apart from the film itself, we're also having a whole you know, memory, reflection-themed yeah. premiere. So it's going to be different levels of creativity within the space. I'm sure people are going to be having many conversations. Yes. Even, even from the film festival where it's screened, yes. you know, some people argue, some people are like, I need to watch it again. Some yes, people because like, they didn't agree. Did it happen? No, no she, she didn't. No, no, she didn't leave. No, she didn't she leave. came back. Yeah, she came back. It was all no, of No, she that. didn't remember. Loads of conversations. No, she went away. She I escaped in her mind. And I'm yes. like, yeah. But isn't that, it's that's anything. what you want. That's what you want. You want all that conversation. I want it ongoing. I want yeah. people to think about it. And I want people to also see, because we also had a lot of film students, mm -hmm. they were really enthusiastic. Yes. Because the yeah. idea that without a too large budget, I can actually do what these Something. guys have mm -hmm. done. Mm -hmm. I can make a film. We used just the one camera. We That's had amazing. a small crew. Mm -hmm. This means I, as a student, I can do yeah. this. Yeah. So I want all of those conversations to keep going on. And I think that will mean that we have, we have done what we wanted, we set out to achieve. Yeah. Yeah. That's phenomenal. Now, we yeah. spoke earlier about the mm -hmm. way you started out in the yes. industry. And obviously, you are an actress that mm -hmm. currently works mm -hmm. in the yes. Nollywood film yeah. industry. So I want to know both of your takes on the role of women within the mm -hmm. movie industry on the continent. Um, okay. okay, I'll go first. Mm -hmm. I think that women have to be, at this point in Africa, have to be more passionate and mm -hmm. more deliberate and intentional about telling stories with women in front. Mm -hmm. About telling stories that show women as strong, beautiful, um, you know, positive sides of women, yes. mm. not just the, the negative sides, mm. not yeah. just the sexual object, yeah. not the, the bad mother-in-law mm. or, the, or the irresponsible the yeah. single woman, you yes. know, all of that. So women 
have to take that position mm. and create those stories because many times you're looking for the opportunities and you're saying oh I can't cast you I can't cast you mm -hmm. but then who wrote the story yeah. who's funding the film mm. so women need to step up and become executive producers and decision makers and see that women are portrayed their opportunities for women to be portrayed properly yes. and then actually then on set the way you know, the work is done, done. the ethics, mm. you know, the rules, the professionalism, who's looking out for the woman, who's yeah. looking out for the girl, who's seen to it that, you know, everything she needs to be as good as the man has been is seen. You know, somebody was saying that in some cartoons, if you do, do, do some research, 90% um, of cartoons don't have women as, as the lead. Leads, Isn't yes. that interesting? Yeah, yes. so children don't even think of women, women. in certain oh, ways. Yeah. Wow. So it's, I think women in Africa, filmmakers, have to be very, very intentional about that yes. I love that I like that intentional because where you said passion I thought w the passion has always yes. been there yes. but I think def they have to be more deliberate mm -hmm. we have to be more deliberate and uh, very intentional about what we do and you said it um, those portraying women in those very negative scenarios cannot be the sum total of our you know of what womanhood is about Absolutely. and not certainly not in film and um, we've done such great films. I mean, women are so, I mean, I'm a woman, so there, <laughs> I believe that we're very detailed, yes. excellent I, at what we do. I'm, as a producer, I'm very, very conscious of every single detail. Can, and the stories. I, can, I agree with that. You yes. 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 Just because she pays your salary. Yes. Okay. <laughs> no, but the, the, the focus, you know, just making sure that everything works out perfectly, but also that the stories are very deliberate. Mm -hmm. I've been very, um, I've had the opportunity of working with great women throughout my career, they started me out, Amaka Igwe. I worked on a film, you know, when we're talking about women and mm -hmm. women's roles, I worked with Mildred Okwo. Oh, and in that her. film, Mildred, Mildred was director, I was producer. We had a light in, uh, a DOP that was female, mm -hmm. Cricket. The three main characters were female. So it was a real women, you yeah, know, empowerment sort of film. Power. We all came together <laughs> and we made a brilliant film. So there are possibilities there and I think that women just need to hone into that. Women in Africa, we need to start directing the narrative away mm -hmm. from what it has been. And we have the opportunity right now because the whole continent is watching. This is yes. the time. Everybody's yes. focusing on women, girls, and just trying to change that story. So we must do it. Well, it's so nice to see both of you changing Thank the story, you. the narrative from within. Yes. And also for you to be sending the elevators back down for the youth yes. of, the, of yes. our generation. Yes. I love to see that. You're both very inspirational women. Thank, Thank you so you. much for coming Thank on The you. Morning Thank Show. Thank you for having us. <laughs> Thank you. It is time now for a short break on The Morning Show, but stay tuned as when we return, we're talking art and fashion. Don't go away.